photography and I will be showing you how to remove shadow from single images. So this is for a project I did in my computational for photography class at University of Illinois. Uh, so let me first tell you about the shadow model we are considering here. Uh, this uh, shadow removal technique is based on uh, this paper, Paid Region for Shadow Detection and Removal by Professor Derek Hoim at uh, University of Illinois. Uh, so let me first explain you the shadow uh, model. So we won't be doing shadow detection here. We will just be doing shadow removal. So let me first tell you uh, uh, what was the what model uh, shadow model did we consider considered here. Uh, in this shadow model, uh, we are considering two light sources: the direct light and the environment light. Non-shadow areas are lit by uh, uh, both direct light and environment light. Where direct light is uh, light from sun or uh, uh, light bulb and environment light is uh, the light uh, which, are, which is coming from the reflections of the surrounding surfaces and uh, the shadow region only has the environment light only shadow region is only getting light which is being reflected by the surrounding surfaces um, and then uh, we are considering here uh, uh, shadow intensity so each pixel has a shadow intensity where it is either 1 or 0 where 1 is where where k sub i is equal to 1 means the pixel is in a non-shadow area and when k sub i is equal to 0 means the pixel the pixel is in an umbra, a, tot a total shadow. Uh, and if a pixel has a value between 0 and 1, it means it has a partial shadow, uh, which means a penumbra. So let me proceed you towards the code. Uh, here's the uh, Python notebook. Here's the Python no uh, notebook where I have implemented the solution. Um, so in this technique we first try to uh, get the k sub i the intensity the shadow intensity of each pixel pixel in the shadow image so for that we will be using a shadow matting technique uh, which is discussed here the technicalities have been discussed here uh, we didn't need to imp uh, I, in this project I, I didn't require to implement the whole uh, algorithm of uh, shadow matting because there's already a python library for that uh, uh, this is where I have imported it, closed form formatting. So I've, I've imported the image, here is the shadow image we will be using. And this is a hard mask, a mask defined by the user uh, to tell the algorithm where the shadow exists. And then we are using closed matting technique in order to get the soft mask which is uh, the uh, shadow intensity value. So this is where the shadow exists completely. Uh, the, it is equal to 0, k is equal to 0 and then you can see there are gray dots which means that k is somewhere between 0 and 1 uh, around the boundaries and k, where uh, the image is white the k is equal to 1 which means there is no shadow here. So this is how we got the k values and then we proceed further to a little, so this is the equation that allows us to recover the shadow free image where i sub i is the i pixel in the uh, is in the original image uh, so the i sub i uh, in the original mean original image means the shadow image and r is the ratio between the direct light and the environment light and k is the shadow intensity which the, all these uh, uh, parameters allow uh, this allows us to recover the uh, the i -th pixel in the shadow free image so how to cal calculate r there is another equation that helps us uh, to recover r where i is uh, th this is the equation where i sub j is uh, the uh, a pixel in the non shadow image uh, in the non shadow uh, image and i sub i is, in, uh, is the pixel in the uh, shadow image so let me show you how i've done that in the code so these are the functions uh, that are used to recover uh, that are used by the shadow removal algorithm uh, here's the main function so this function is uh, in this function we are using uh, con uh, we are using a, a kernel that slides on the image in horizontal uh, first horizontally and then it uh, uh, shifts vertically by a certain offset or stride which is by default is equal to 1 uh, batch size by default is 12 but we will be for this case we will be using a uh, batch size of 50 so this uh, uh, function gets uh, a shadow image a soft mask hard mask so soft mask is the, uh, is the shadow intensity values the k values hard mask is a user defined mask 
and then we are doing the convolution we are sliding the mask uh, sorry we are sliding the kernel getting a patch at each step and uh, we are checking whether this patch is at the boundary of the shadow or not so we are trying to find the boundary shadow boundary here so it's uh, so the kernel start, start sliding in this pattern uh, like this and then this and when it reaches a place on with on the boundary of the shadow when the kernel is half on the shadow region and half on the non shadow region uh, the check the check here is returned as true check here is returned it means that it is perfectly on the boundary so there, there we try uh, we calculate the intensity ratios using the uh, equation here and we store it in uh, bins of 0.1 we store the ratio, ratio values and we keep doing this until we have uh, explored the whole boundary of the shadow so ratio this ratio is it actually tells us what is the in difference of intensity between the shadow region and the non shadow region so that we can uh, we can increase the intensity of uh, the uh, the shadow region such that it to match the intensity of the pixels in the shadow region matches the intensity of the pixels in the non shadow region so we keep doing it until we get uh, uh, we get the intensity uh, ratios across the boundary of the shadow and uh, uh, we then get the final ratio of uh, uh, get the final ratio which is actually the mod of all the ratios so the bin which has the most number of uh, uh, most number of uh, you can say the intensities uh, we take the that ratio and then we using that this r in here fix in the function fix patch shadow we uh, this we have implemented this equation where we multiply each pixel by r plus 1 divided by a shadow intensity which is uh, the which are the values in the soft mask and uh, multiplied by r plus 1 to recover the shadow free image so here are the results this was our shadow image and here is the shadow free image you can still feel a bit uh, that uh, there was something here but uh, uh, this is one of a very good result so but uh, it's uh, not that noticeable so these are the final RGB ratios. Uh, on the red channel, we increased the intensity by 40%. On the green channel, we did it by 10%. On the blue channel, we had to decrease the intensity in the shadow region by 20%. Oh, sorry for uh, yes. So so this helped us recover the image. Thank you for watching. Uh, hey, bye.